Guys, I haven't picked up this camera in forever, literally. Literally, I haven't picked it up in forever. I've literally, okay, I need to stop saying literally. I, <laughs> I need to calm down. Okay, guys, so I vlogged like two weeks off of my phone, like two or three weeks off my phone because I didn't want to pick up the camera. Um, but I finally got a memory card in the camera and I finally charged my camera, so it's charged. Um, and I think I'm ready to talk about what's been going on in my life and i'm gonna try to be as positive as, as positive as possible because i've had my moments and i'm ready to update you guys on what's been going on so i hope you guys don't mind this update it's like it's not that late at night it's 10 p.m it's almost 10 p.m at least let me show you guys it's almost 10 p.m um and it's sunday night um leah knocked out tony's knocked out leah has this blanket right here because um she actually um hold on because my camera is doing some funky things okay um she was sick today and um i went to a bible study and then i got a phone call from my sister and she was like leah just threw up everywhere and she had she has like a fever i know she's out of nowhere she was per she was perfectly fine before i left um and so i was like oh, okay so they ended up giving her something for a tummy and some medicine and she's thrown up like three times but not she hasn't thrown up ever since I've gotten home, so she's been okay. So I'm hoping she'll be okay throughout the night. If not, that's okay. We'll we'll, we'll deal with it, and we'll hopefully get over it tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. What else? Um, there is, like, a lizard somewhere down here in our basement. Um, and one day, the kids came down here to play, and I was at home. And, um, like, I came home, and they were, like, saying, like, there's a snake, there's a snake, there's a snake. And I was like, what, there's a snake? And then, like... My mom and my uncle were already looking for a snake down here and they had moved everything and they looked everywhere and they didn't find anything but they said that the kids were like honestly just like being legit like there was a snake so and I believe them because like I can tell my kids are lying and I can tell whenever they're like being honest. You guys I'm so oily and I'm just realizing that I'm so sorry I just I got up and I started vlogging um and then so like i didn't come down here because i was paranoid the, that there was a snake i was like I, I, i'm not about to do that and um they said they saw it outside by their bed um by the by anthony's dresser and that's where we've been sleeping for a while um so i'm like okay y'all aren't sleeping down there no more <laughs> y'all are sleeping up here with me so um um we didn't end up we ended up not sleeping down here for like two three days um and then the second the second day my mom came down here with my sister and they legit moved everything down here they cleaned everything out i was at home but they like cleaned everything out and then my mom says that whenever she got to like the last box that's underneath our staircase um the thing came like running out my mom like freaked out she's like she like yelled at Kayla and Kayla even saw the thing like running super fast like and they don't know where it ran to or where it's at but I still I got the guts to come down here and sleep because I'm like yeah I'll be fine I don't know how long this thing has been down here for and it honestly hasn't bothered me so I, I really hope it doesn't bother me and kind of making myself paranoid again because I had forgotten about it but since I'm telling you guys again I'm kind of paranoid about it <laughs> but that's also something crazy that's been going on okay then after that we um i have sad news to talk about which i hate talking about sad news because i feel like my life is sad all the freaking time and i'm so sorry that i bore you guys over sad news um but my aunt passed away um last week on wednesday i believe on the 20th of september she passed away and um we got the phone call and so let me explain to you guys what's going on right now so my aunt is not really my aunt she's my aunt by law but she's not blood related to me so my uncle my mom's brother is married to my aunt except my uncle had to travel back to his country because he's getting his papers um fixed so he had traveled back to his country and while he was there my aunt decided to move on and she got you know another man and then she had another baby she had a baby with um that man but my uncle and my aunt which we still consider her an aunt because honestly like she even though she moved on from my uncle she was very nice to us we helped her out and everything so um you know we we still consider her aunt or her or her our aunt like every time we saw her we would call her um dia and stuff like that so but um my uncle and her had a daughter and so whenever my aunt passed away she passed away in a car accident we got a phone call and i was worried because we, we did 
why can't I speak? We didn't really know much about what, what happened there, like in the car accident or anything. We just knew that she had passed in a car accident and that it was pretty bad. So we were heartbroken with that. Um, and then we were we were told that we need to take my little cousin in. Like, uh, So my aunt's and my uncle's daughter that they had together was not involved in the car accident. But since my aunt, my uncle was a in the country in the u.s to be able to take her we they needed somebody to take her and so we have honestly had some family like not drama I, it's all resolved um we've had some family like we just it's been hard it's been hard for you know the guy's family and it's been hard for everybody and um but what happened was that my mom took in their little girl so if you guys see in my vlogs that there is a little girl in there that you guys um i know she's been in my vlogs before like i had her for christmas we had her for christmas we had her for like my graduation party and stuff like that so i mean i've had her for on a few vlogs because we used to get her all the time and um we used to get her um and so um we are currently like housing her um we're still we're still dealing with some other things that you know i'm not too sure about um so for like if so like my mom is c kind of taking her in it's not really my she's not really my responsibility but the thing is i'm gonna watch her throughout the day and i'm gonna i'm gonna be taking care of her um and um you know my kids and her get along pretty well so she'll like she's been hanging out with us a lot um and i just wanted to tell you guys that so you guys would be in what's going on um we honestly don't know what's going to happen right now. Um, and, you know, that's where I'm at right now. So, I I was actually, whenever I told you guys, whenever I made that video at the beginning of the week, I didn't know what was going to happen because um, it was just very, like, iffy. Like, if this was going to happen, then, you know, like, it was just very, like, I didn't want to speak about it. But, um, you know, it's, a week has passed and we've gone through this whole week and, um it's been a lot better um and of course i still i still don't have some an some unanswered questions but um i know that we're gonna keep her for a while um don't know how long we we're, we're like at the stage where we're like we don't know if her dad will come back um we're hoping that he'll get you know his um paperwork filled out and or worked out and stuff like that so he can come back and you know take her um and not because we don't want her but because that's the best for her and if not if he can't get it you know we're, we're planning to house her until he's able to get his paperwork and come back so those are the plans right now i know it's complicated i don't know if that made any sense but we've gone through an emotional roller coaster last week i barely vlogged i think i vlogged like two days out of last week because it was just really really sad it was a really sad week um but she's doing really good honestly um of course she has her moments because of course like she lost her mom and you know she has her moments but um we're working with her you guys we really just want the best for her and um we're glad she has somewhere to stay and we're glad she has, you know, somewhere to eat and sleep and, you know, be a little girl and run and play and, you know, do all those things. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, it's rather really sad news, you guys. We were in the viewing and everything and, I mean, it's tragic having to tell a little girl that her mom passed away and, and you know, we've had to deal with those emotions and stuff like that and, um, you know, it was, it was just sad. But other than that we've been really good and i also have an interview this week so i don't know if i'm gonna like put these in parts maybe i'll like upload part one and part two of this week or whatever but uh, because i did film a little bit last week um but um i'm not sure i'm gonna do it yet but i got an interview on the fifth um of this week so i'm excited happy october um i've missed you guys so much i've missed vlogging just everything about vlogging and on my camera and everything i've just missed you guys so much miss you guys um so i'm hoping to eat like keep my spirits up i know i've had like my brothers whenever my brother passed away you guys it was really really tough for me i had some really dark days whenever he passed away like some really really dark days so i don't want to get back into those like really dark days where i'm like crying on the camera and like um like you know like telling you guys my emotions and stuff of course that's really important for me to say but i'm i want to 
I want to put it out in a more positive way, if that makes sense. Um, so I am planning to stay positive for you guys. Um, and yeah, that's just my little update. It's so freaking long, I know. Good morning, guys. It's currently Wednesday morning. Um, and I've just been hanging out. I haven't really been doing anything. Why am I freaking getting emotional? Gosh, I hate, like... Leslie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why, um, but I think it's because I haven't really talked about it. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> um, the kids went with AJ for like multiple days. For, I mean, this is the first time in a really long time. And I don't know, I feel so... like empty I don't know I feel like which is not good because I mean it's healthy for me to have these kind of like breaks you know it's healthy for them to have it like I always have to think about them like it's good for your kids to have this because it's more important for them to have it than for you so I always have to remind myself that that it's more important for my kids to have it than than whatever I'm feeling because my kids deserve to see their dad and you know things like that so um but i don't know if it's been hard i haven't been able to sleep downstairs um i don't know i've been sleeping up here on the couch and in my sister's room it's just like and then like before like it would just be anthony that would go like spend the night and so i had like Aaliyah here with me and then you know, Leah's getting to the age where she wants, like, her dad and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. Like, I was telling my mom yesterday, I was like, the days are easy. Like, not having them throughout the days. Because I'm busy throughout the days. Like, I can do things. Like, you know, I take care of babies and I go out and I do things. But, like, the nighttime is the hardest part for me because I'm so used to, like, reading to Anthony. And, like, we just have a little schedule for school and... You know, I've just like, I don't, I don't know. Am I exaggerating? I feel like I'm exaggerating. <laughs> Hi guys. So the babies are napping right now. Um, and it's been a while actually. And I haven't really found it within me to, I mean, I showered. Um, but I haven't really been doing anything um, because I found out some tragic news this morning that my aunt passed away um i had my little breakdown earlier today um i think it was just mostly like shock it's shock i think it's shock and then um i just i i i know what their family is going through right now because i've been through it and my family has been through it um and it just breaks my heart thinking about it because I'm like, the family is uh, just, my, my, my heart breaks for her family and our family because, oh my gosh, I don't know. We just had some pizza. Leah's mad because she has to finish hers. But we all finished our pizza. Good job, guys. Good job, and Natalie. Natalie and me. Good job. And me and my mom. Um, eat my Let me see your bracelets. Ooh, cool bracelets. Let me see yours, sis. Whoa. And yours, Natalie? Let me see your... Ooh, cool. Okay, ready? Smile. She, she okay. Y'all are crazy. What do you got? What do you have? Oh, is it for me? Is it for me? Okay, give it to me. Mm. Thank you, sis. Yeah. <laughs> That's a cool sculpture. I mean that t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Good morning, guys. The fair was very, or the carnival thing was really fun yesterday. Um, but we got really tired. Um, the kids just played their butt off. Um, they had like cool things in 
Christmas pit. They had like cool little things in the classrooms where like you could go in and like play games, but those were so crowded. We ended up just going outside and letting the kids like play outside. So that's what we did and they had lots of fun. And then after that, we went to um, our pastor's house and then they had like a little bonfire there. I just spent a little bit of time there. Um, I didn't want to come home to like an empty house. So um, I didn't. So I just stayed there for a little bit till my mom and my family got back to back home. So this morning we're gonna go to go eat some breakfast just at McDonald's or I might take them to Iggy's. I'm not sure. We're gonna go somewhere to eat some lunch. Some breakfast. I need my coffee, you guys. This is what I sound like whenever I don't have my coffee. <laughs> I need my coffee. So I was watching Ellie and Jared, they're like my inspiration. My inspiration for family. They're like legit, like my inspiration for everything. And I was watching them and they were they had like this little quote that said, um, we try to show you rather than tell you. So I know that I tell a lot, like I'll be like, oh, well we want to go do this, like I did right now. So I'm really gonna try to show you guys instead of tell you guys about it. And if I don't show you guys, then I won't tell you guys, if that makes any sense. Because I think it's kind of dumb for me like to sit here be like I did this and I did that and then like I you guys just hear me talk about it so I'll show you guys um, I'm gonna try I have to try this because I'm so embarrassed of going out like and vlogging in like public I know some people can just do it but I can't like I don't know I'm it, you know it, we all start somewhere so ooh, my sorry um we all start somewhere so we all have to start you know like from being shy and then we learn how to like you know get better at it so yeah that's gonna be me today we're legit wearing the same clothes that we wore yesterday we don't care i'm like wearing the same top i just put some shorts on because it's like super hot today um and then anthony's like wearing the same clothes and i'm just wearing the same sorry kids so we're gonna have glass of breakfast i feel like i don't want to i don't know i'm at i'm at this weird mood right now where i'm sad i don't want to stay home like I, I want to go out and I want to like, I want to get my mind off things. And if I stay home, I'll probably just be miserable all day. I feel like I spent all week home. I need my Saturdays off, like away from home. Hey guys, we're eating some breakfast. <clears throat> and we're at McDonald's. Are you liking your breakfast? Good. Anthony really wanted a toy today and from here. Dish. What'd you get? Cool. Cool. Anthony wanted a toy today and he was like kind of throwing his head over it, but I told him now he's not because I told him that we're gonna go to garage sales. I am stepping out of my comfort zone. Wait for me, guys. Esperenme. Thank you. So, I right currently, I have five little ones. So, <laughs> it's kind of insane. But I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. And I love it. I love walking with them. It's just a little hard right now. Five, six. So we're at the park now. And we're all having a little snack. I got some ice cream. Um, let's go poop. I'm right now? Uh -huh. I'm Great. Hey guys, so this is how I ended up. <laughs> one on top of the stroller. One in the stroller. And one on the bottom of the stroller. <laughs> we were too tired to make it home. And I had, for a little bit, I had Leah on my, like in my arms. I was pushing this and carrying Leah at the same time. But Tonyo is a great champ. He did it all. He did it. Good job, Anthony. <laughs> I am exhausted. <laughs> for the least to say, like, I need a nap, honestly, because I'm so tired right now. I've never been so tired in my life. <laughs> Hi, Natalie. Natalie sweats a lot, you guys. She sweats a ton. So, and her little arms hurt. And so I put her up here. Leah and Antonio are so used to this. We always walk that distance and back. So we're like used to it. And I understand that she's not used to it or 
that Ruby's not used to it either because it's really hard to walk that far. It wasn't even that far, but it was pretty far for kids, you know, with their little feet. So we did it though. So we're back home and hopefully I can get a few to nap and be quiet for a little bit after this fun day. What, baby? I think you should put me in a running contest. I think you should. You're really good at it. Okay. We're home. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> well, Ruby knocked out. Don't know how to get her out of here. <laughs> but she fit perfectly in here. What, baby? Yeah. It's okay. Ruby. Hey, we're back. Come on. Come on. Ruby, 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 what are you eating? <gasps> what did you give her the green fork? I wanted a green fork. <laughs> <laughs> well, because she can't use the, these forks. She has to use the soft forks. She's a baby. Not uh. Yes. She's one year old. Dang. That's not a baby? No. <laughs> Babies are like zero old. And oh. one baby and one baby, mommy, right? Leah's a baby. No. <laughs> Leah's a baby. She's two. Mommy's a baby. <laughs> okay, guys. He's ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Get it, get, get the bubbles. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Such a good brother. Woo! Oh. Hey, Mama, you okay? No, don't push her too high. Push her soft. You okay? Are you okay? Hmm? Good morning, guys. It's currently... Oh, sorry, the radio is so... F sorry, sorry about that. It's currently like 7.30. We're gonna run to to um, to um McDonald's real quick. And I'm gonna get Anthony just some breakfast. Um, and then I'll drop him off at school because today is his picture day. Picture day. Tony, I ordered your pictures online, okay? So everyone's gonna have a little paper, but you're not. Because um, I ordered your, your pictures online. So it's kind of, right, right. Uh, I'm sorry for the like terrible lighting. Um, it's currently so cold outside, so there's it. Oh, I'm so tired, you guys. Yeah, buckle yourself all the way in. It's raining. Yesterday was a tiring night. Leah woke up like crying for no reason. It was really weird. So I didn't really get to sleep in very much. And then today we actually have my aunt's viewing, which is where, you know, they take her to church or wherever you want them in your house. And um, you, um, what's it called? You just look, you just see them, you know. Um, so it's her viewing today. And I think that's going to be really hard on me and the whole family, honestly. I, I don't know. I feel really, like, tired. You guys, this whole day is draining me a little more than I thought. I feel like I'm gonna have a breakdown soon because I just, I don't know, I feel like I am. But it's a lot more draining than I thought it was gonna be. Picking up Anthony at school currently and we're gonna take him back over there. I, didn't, I really didn't want him to go um, to the viewing, but I feel like my family needs me right now. And, um, and just in case if they want to break down, like I'm there to watch um, my little cousin and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's really hard. And it's it, like I didn't expect it to be so draining. Like I expected it to be sad. And of course, like I'm super sad. 
but it's like draining like you know it's like i was telling i was telling my mom and my sister i'm like i'm just done with i'm just done with death like i'm done with them like and it's sad how we can never like escape that reality because it's like something that, that happens but i feel like i've had enough deaths in my family <laughs> So I just need it to be over with. Like I can't. Like I feel like if I have another one, I'm probably gonna have like literally a men a mental breakdown because I can't do this anymore. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! Not that fast, you guys. We're going to go. Do it. <laughs> okay, can you slow down? I'm trying to get this. Kayla. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for um, supporting me. Thank you guys for your love and your kind words. I love you guys so much. And um, yeah, you guys, um, keep on going. Keep on living life. Um, it's hard, but we got to keep on going, you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll talk to you guys next week. Bye, guys.